Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 4 Soviet cruiser Svetlana. It has 15 main guns, 12 torpedoes, 4 AE guns, a surface detection of 8.7 kilometers, top speed 29 knots, total health 24,600. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, reduce the chance of flood and fire. For my commander, situation awareness, basic survivability, basic firing training, faster turret traverse, superintendent, advanced firing training, and concealment. We are on the map Solomon Islands, and we're rocking advanced firing training because the guns on this ship are 130 millimeters. They actually benefit from the increased rate of fire and range. So it's a little interesting. My personal Soviet commander will definitely be able to have advanced firing training day one. I've been leveling this commander since the Murmansk. Now, there's an enemy St. Louis, so we're going to engage him at our maximum range, 13 kilometers. And the gun systems are pretty fair. The velocity is not on the same level as later Soviet cruisers, but it can still work very well, especially since there are so many ships that are just super slow. And they're almost going in reverse. Now, this enemy Minikaze about to... Oop, oh, never mind. Looks like he took a torpedo to the face. And the Clemson also took torpedoes. He died. These Lobby games, they're just completely different. They don't care at all about dying, and there is some joy in watching it from a third-person perspective. This enemy Konigsberg is trying to move on the eastern side of the map. I noticed that not anyone was really going, so the enemy is going to have the advantage. And yeah, they do. Phoenix, a couple battleships, this Phoenix is pretty close, so we're going to engage him. Now, one unique aspect of this particular ship, it has torpedoes that can almost send forward of the ship. Almost. There's probably 10 to 20 degrees of dead zone at the very front of the ship, but that's it. Very shortly, you will be fighting a ton of these ships, and you must understand their torpedo systems can easily be sent forward of their position when you would assume it's not possible. This Phoenix, he's taking a lot of fire. He's about 50%. We're not hitting every shot, but we're also not trying to completely shotgun him. It's chain fire mode, and I'm just trying to get some chip damage on him. But the chip damage when it hits target is pretty significant. I don't really have a good shot with the island in the way, so we're gonna swap to the Wyoming. And the Wyoming, not interested in us. Looks like he's firing on that battleship that is just northeast of our position. And the gun caliber is comparable to a destroyer. So you should expect the same success and failure of a destroyer. This Koenigsberg, he's in a position where we can engage him. He was already 60% and I would like to make him go even further. Now we set him on fire, which is great. He uses his damage control to put the fire out. We do a follow-up and we land shots. We don't cause a fire. Don't have any idea how much damage we did. We're gonna switch right back to the Wyoming. It looks like we've lost one friendly on this flank already. And we set the Wyoming on fire. Now, I think I set the Wyoming on fire previously. I believe this will stick. And he's not moving forward very fast. Clearly, he probably doesn't have a battleship that's higher than this. Because I would highly recommend you do not slow down your ship. Unless it's an abrupt change of speed to sort of dodge incoming rounds or incoming torpedoes. Going at a four speed in front of the enemy is not going to help you at all. It's very easy to deal with that sort of speed. And it looks like he's getting the picture. He's speeding up to get another fire. I believe that's two fires on the battleship. That's significant damage over time. And yeah, we're doing great. Nobody has been interested in firing at our position at all. And that's exactly what you want to do in a Soviet cruiser. Doesn't matter the tier. You do not want to be the primary target. If you're the primary target, then you're a dead target. And if you're fighting these guys, don't be afraid to bypass a target to get back to the Soviet cruiser. Unless, of course, they're completely out of range or they have full life versus these battleships and if you're fighting a soviet you really need to pick on them that's the best way i have seen my ships fall is if i get 
focused down by the enemy team. You fall so fast, you have no way of really mitigating it. We get another fire on the initial fire position. So we still have two fires ticking. But the island's going to get in the way. It looks like a friendly battleship was able to do a little bit of damage. He should die. He should die. Yeah, he dies. Okay, good. We move to the New York. The enemy is consistently trying to push the center of the map. We have lost some ships. They have lost some ships as well. And you need to be aware. The Carl is incoming. And yes, it's the Carl. It's nothing else. It's the Carl. This is a ship that almost broke me initially trying to level the German cruiser line. It was just so fragile. I know that they've addressed some of the issues, but every single shot that would make contact with the ship would break the steering or the propulsion. There was no, oh, you might lose your module. No, you're going to lose your module. This ship is why I specced into last stand for my German cruisers for a couple tiers. And he's probably feeling the pressure. He's like, oh, I didn't figure there was a cruiser here. Yeah, there's a cruiser here. I've got range over most of the map. My range is probably greater than a lot of battleships. Because of the gun caliber, we can take advantage of advanced firing training. And that Konigsberg, the Konigsberg that we actually did damage to earlier, has decided to also show up. He's not really moving forward, though. And I believe he's firing AP. We need to be careful. Okay, we were able to avoid. That's good. We return fire. We got a fire. Cool. 1800. He fires AP again. We're pretty angled. So he's not going to do a lot of damage to us. He should definitely fire HEN. I ran into the friendly ship as he's going to the bottom of the sea. But it didn't really impact us that much. Looks like the Königsberg is either deciding... Let's move forward to move back. Or he's just trying to start changing his speed a little bit more. We would love to kill this guy. Come on, 3K. We've got a St. Louis. we got a couple more enemy ships, but they have to deal with my friendlies on the western flank. We get eh, 1,500, give or take, plus fire. This should be it. Is this it? Nope. Yeah, fire gets it. Awesome. And conveniently, there's a St. Louis right in the picture. So we're going to transition directly to his ship. And the game is still really close. Two ships is nothing. We could easily lose or gain a ship here or there. <laughs> he pulls a Notzer. Poor, poor St. Louis. We're not going to show any mercy. I just love picking on these guys. But wait, it's being carried past the St. Louis. I think he's backing up. Friendly aircraft carrier bombs him gets a fire we haven't gotten a fire on him recently and he puts out the fire okay now he's gonna be susceptible to those fires if we can land it no straddle the target left and right Ugh. and now he's completely out of our line of sight we've got to move forward in order to try and get some damage on him now the torpedoes are useful don't get me wrong they're great I just haven't had an opportunity to use them and every time I've tried to use them I've died. <laughs> you get so close. You can do great work at long range. If you're given an opportunity, of course, take advantage of it. But it doesn't really happen that much. The St. Louis is trying to get away. Can we get a fire? He is so vulnerable to fires. This is the perfect time for a fire, and we're just not seeing it. Come on, there we go. We got a fire. Now, he should burn for... 30 seconds at least. And this New York, he's able to take out, I believe, two friendlies in the northeast side of the map. Barely alive, of course. We're going to move into range, which doesn't take that long, considering the range of the guns. You need to be ruthless. Don't hold back. Don't show any mercy. If you see a target this low, he is your number one priority. There's absolutely no reason to focus on anything other than a target that has 3,000 hit points. He might use a heal. He might get it back up to 10,000. And he could impact the match. I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that on my team. Enemy aircraft carrier sending over his dive bombers. And I was worried uh, it might go to me, but it's not going to. It's going to go to the New York. Our AA was helping out the four AA guns. Down here, it's like, AA, what's that? So 
So the New York, he is probably deciding to go on the other side of the island to limit the number of targets that can engage him. We were spotted by the aircraft, and you need to keep that in mind. I've got multiple games that honestly will see the light of day because they're just so good, where you're in this exact scenario. You're on the other side of an island, the target either has knowledge or doesn't have knowledge, and you're looking to counter him. You're looking to meet him head on. You've got to pick whichever side will get you to the target as quick as possible. The New York will beat us to the target. Now, I don't know if he'll kill the target, but my teammate should have first crack at him. And the dive bomber tried to light him up, wasn't successful. Only did about 600 damage to the New York. And I don't know what my New York's doing. Looks like he's finally firing on his position. He's unable to finish him off and we are able to take him out. We focused all of our shots on the superstructure and that's where you want HE or honestly AP to go if you can't hit the Citadel. So now that we've eliminated pretty much the eastern side of the map, the northeastern side of the map, we can continue on to the enemy base. They have one cruiser, one battleship and one aircraft carrier. Only the battleship is visible. I just want to get around the corner I sort of was contemplating, do I want to cut the corner and beat the New York to the other side of the island, or do I want to give him plenty of room so he can turn inside of me? The New York is very slow, but I'm pretty slow as well. 27 knots at tier 4 is probably the slowest cruiser, tier for tier, I believe, and the St. Louis is here. Well, I wouldn't want to pass up firing on the St. Louis. And of course, he takes out our propulsion. I'm trying to duck, dodge, dive under these shells as best as I can, but honestly, it's 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 really irrelevant. We have a health advantage. We need to use it. As long as I have some angling, he's not going to penetrate me, and we're doing so much damage. 3k with one salvo. He's also doing significant damage, but we're the ones who end up in command. The enemy, Miyogi, is not looking at us. His guns are actually pointed directly front. Don't know why there's nobody in front of him. But I'm not going to pass it up, of course. I'm going to try and spread the fire around. He's had plenty of fires already, it seems. And we add another one to that list. His back guns, however, were trying to range us in. And I think he just missed, or he was going for the New York. Don't understand that. We get another fire, and he burns down. So... Just like that, we've got four kills, and we're moving on to the Bogue. Now, it's going to take a while, so let's just talk about the Soviet cruiser line. It's coming. I believe the Asian server has discussed the 23rd as the maintenance day for a patch, and that, that sounds about right. So, if you want to choose them, keep in mind that they look very powerful when they're not taking damage, but they feel awful when they take damage countless games where I am caught out for one broadside moment completely annihilated so be careful it's okay to just say you know what I'm gonna get a little bit better before I try and work down this line now in this game we got four kills 12 fires 1267 base XP we did around 95,000 points of damage and this is gonna be the last Soviet cruiser that's previewed before the patch I've got a ton of non-Soviet cruiser content waiting to go, and hopefully you enjoy it. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.